Hey guys, Dee Dee here. How are we all doing? I hope you're doing well. I hope the self-isolation and quarantine isn't too bad. I know that all the kids are home at the moment and uh, <laughs> it's, a bit in, it's a bit insane. But um, I hope you guys are doing alright. I hope you guys are safe and not going crazy like pretty much everyone else in the world. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I thought I would do a plant unboxing update. So uh, I was gonna do this in one whole video, but I thought I'd split it into two different videos because these guys have special care. So this, so this is gonna be an update on the jewel orchids that I unboxed. And I know quite a few of you guys were interested to know how they were doing and if it was okay to have them outside of a, ter a terrarium. So the first jewel orchid that I have is the if it doesn't focus on my face, the Macadies Petola, and it's doing really well so far. And then the next one that I unboxed is the Ludicia Discolor Alba. So, yes, <laughs> the answer to answer your question, yes, these guys do really well outside of a terrarium. So, what I have noticed, uh, I don't know if you guys can see. That leaf is browning. I actually think that's cold damage because I don't know if you remember that I said in my unboxing video that this came to me on the morning where it snowed. So I think this is actually cold damage. And you're probably wondering why I have spag around this part. It's because it had a little, uh, I guess you could say nub. <laughs> I think it's probably a root. And I was trying to, you know, I'm trying to encourage it to grow and it is growing. So it's doing really well. And it finally unfurled its leaf. This guy as well. Um, I can't remember which one is the newest leaf. I think this was the newest leaf that unfurled and it's already got another one in the middle. Phil, stop. Stop licking up my face! <laughs> if you guys can see that. So, if you guys want to get these and you can get them quite, um, you know, inexpensively, I would su definitely suggest trying it out because I don't keep these guys in a terrarium. So I actually keep these guys upstairs in my bedroom, kind of like near the humidifier but not quite like not near the humidifier it's quite far away from it and they are living in like bright indirect light you have to keep the medium that these guys are in consistently moist now that doesn't mean like soaking wet it does mean moist and you are never to allow these guys to dry out so they need to be constantly hydrated and that's you know what why they will do well outside of a terrarium so what I do is I don't go in like with my watering can and like water it because spag holds a lot of moisture and I just feel like even though these guys are using up the moisture that I'm giving them I don't <laughs> want to like drench them so that you know they'll get root rot and die so what I do every morning is you know I have like a spray bottle and I just kind of well if the, there's hardly any water in this but you know I just like spray the medium like that Again with this as well, just go in like that, spray the medium a couple of times until you know it looks like, because the spag on the top kind of dries out a little bit so when I've noticed that it dries out I just give it a couple, like you know, quick few spritzes with my spray bottle and then I put them back to where they are and that's how I keep them um, like moist. So yeah, just know that they, they are kind of a bit finicky so like these guys, I do have to like spray them maybe like two times a day. So once in the morning and then in the afternoon when I come home from work. Well, I mean, I'm not at work in the, <laughs> at the moment, but you know, when you come home from work and I see them and then I'll have to spray them again. Um, I probably should like water them, but again, I'm just, I'm, these are like propagations. So I am just worried about like them getting root rot. So I just be, I'm very careful with the amount of water that I give them, but again, I'm making sure that they never dry out and that they stay moist. Another thing that I noticed is that airflow is one of the key components in keeping these guys happy. So I know in a lot of places they're like, oh, stick it in a terrarium, it will be fine. And yeah, you know, they will be, but what I've noticed is that they don't like stagnant air. If you have a terrarium that doesn't have good airflow, then these guys will really suffer. So I have a fan now, well, I have a fan in my room anyway for the summer, you know, when it gets just ugh, ridiculously hot and you can't sleep. But now I've, I've turned it on, obviously not facing my plants, it's kind of like in front of my plants and oscillating so that the airflow is like moving but it's not on them so that, you know, they don't like get sad and die on me. <laughs> but I've noticed since I've done that, 
these guys are so much happier they're like growing more they just they just seem happier so giving these guys airflow is definitely I mean even my other plants are upstairs so I have like my um you know my humid loving plants like my calathea all my calatheas I think are upstairs <laughs> now that I think about it, except for one yeah except for one so I've got all my calatheas my stramanthi my tenanthes except again for one Okay, so no, I have like the majority besides two are down, like are upstairs in my room. So even then, with the like airflow, I keep that room. It's usually about fifty to sixty percent humidity at night. I have the humidifier on. It helps my skin. It helps me breathe. So then the humidity can kind of go up to like sixty-five percent. And with the fan on, they're just doing so well. They love it. So yeah, if you can provide them airflow they'll be really happy with that. These guys are kind of slow-ish growing. Uh, this one, I think at the moment it's focused more on like uh, putting out its roots than like on foliage growth at the moment. And then this one's just doing kind of both, but it's focusing more on its foliage than it is on the roots. I don't know why, <laughs> that's just how it is. They're kind of slowish growing, but I don't know if that's gonna change, you know, with the warmer temperatures coming in, because we are in spring now, yay, which also, oh my god, like, how are we already in spring? Like, what is even happening right now? <laughs> but, you know, there we are. Uh, I don't know, yeah, like I said, I don't know if that's going to change in the spring and then they're suddenly going to, like, explode with growth. Um, as to fertiliser, I haven't fertilised these guys yet. I do use... I don't know where all of my garden supplies are. They're usually in one area and I can't find them now. I don't know if any of you guys watched my uh, houseplant chores video, probably not because it was like super long, but uh, I was talking about this houseplant mist in the video and I have kind of like sprayed the foliage of these I think once or twice. So I've had these guys now. This guy I've had since I think January, so about three months and it's doing really well. And this guy I got a couple of weeks later, so... Oh... I don't know, like two and a half months, something like that. And yeah, you know, they're, they're not dead yet. <laughs> so that's all right. So in that time frame, I have sprayed them once or twice with this mist. And uh, again, if you didn't watch that video, this has just got like mineral nutrients, organic nutrients. It's got marine plant extracts and some plant oils and some like acids that like plants need. So humic acid and fulvic acid. My plants react really well to this. These guys seem to do really well but I'm kind of scared to over fertilize so I haven't actually like fertilized them yet with like a proper fertilizer. I just don't think they're big enough for that quite yet so I think I'm just gonna stick with this. So yeah I hope that was <laughs> enough information if you are considering to get these guys and you don't want to put them in a terrarium. You know you don't have to. They do really well outside of a terrarium. Just keep them moist. Keep them out of bright, bright light indirect light only and you'll do fine they, they will do really well and hopefully like i said come the warmer temperatures they will start to thrive even more so if you have any further questions or you want any other advice on these guys let me know in the comments down below and otherwise i hope you guys have a good day or night where you are i hope that you're not going stir crazy I, i'm going a little bit stir crazy but i hope you guys aren't <laughs> i hope you you know I need to get out into the garden honestly but the weather is not cooperating with me it is just raining all the time and so what I actually want to do I can't because the soil is too wet and I'm just yeah <laughs> I can't do what I want to do so weather you know we're in spring now please sort yourself out and I'm rambling again so let me know if you guys are also gardening like is that something now because obviously you know we're all stuck at home for the foreseeable future. If you have a garden, that is, are you planning to do some more gardening? Are you gonna be going out and doing all that stuff? Because I definitely am, <laughs> once the weather decides to cooperate with me. And if you guys want a video on that, let me know. My garden is kind of ugly at the moment, and I don't know if it will be any not uglier <laughs> when I get done with it, but we'll see. And yeah, catch you guys soon with another one. Bye.